The boy identified as Murtaha Carreras was arrested by Saudi officials in September 2014 on charges of terrorism. He was sent to the detention center for participating in bike protests in Saudi Arabia's eastern province as a young boy in 2011. According to human rights group Amnesty International, the public prosecution of Saudi Arabia had sought the death penalty for Carreras, now 18 years old, last August for a series of offenses, some of which date back to when the boy was just 10 years old. In November 2016, the UN Working Group for Arbitrary Detention had addressed a case of a minor that matched Carreras in which it was found that he had been held in solitary confinement subjected to beatings and intimidation and his confessions extracted on the pretense of freedom in the aftermath of his confession. In May 2017, he was moved to al Mabath prison, an adult facility, even though he was still only 16 years old. The charges against him include participating in anti-government protests, attending the funeral of his brother Ali Carreras, killed in a protest in 2011, joining a terrorist organization, throwing Molotov cocktails, at police station and firing at security forces. He is currently awaiting his next trial session. According to CNN, the prosecution is seeking to impose the harshest form of the death penalty on Carrera, which may include crucifixion or dismemberment after execution despite not holding him responsible for any loss of life. The prosecutors have reportedly argued that his sowing of sedition warranted the worst possible punishment, according to the kingdom's strict interpretation of Islamic Sharia law. It is also reported that one of his brothers has been jailed and his father was detained last year. Lynn Malouf, Amnesty International's Middle East Research Director, said, There should be no doubt that the Saudi Arabian authorities are ready to go to any length to crack down on dissent against their own citizens, including by resorting to the death penalty for men who were merely boys at the time of their arrest. Apart from Carreras, three other boys, Ali al Niam on R, Abdullah al Zar and Dawood al Marhoun, who had been arrested in 2012 for alleged crimes committed before the age of 18 also face execution. In April, officials had carried out the execution of two minors including Abdul Karim al Hawaj, a Shia boy who was arrested when he was 16 years old based on offenses related to involvement in anti-government protests. He was among 37 men put to death in one day as part of an execution spree. Most of the executed men belonged to the Shia community. The UN Human Rights Watch have stated that the Saudi government have used counter-terrorism regulations to suppress political demonstration of dissent. While the criminal age of responsibility is unclear due to the absence of written penal code, the government informed the Committee on the Rights of Child in 2006 that it had raised the minimum age of criminal responsibility to 12 years. According to the Interior Ministry, Saudi Arabia executed 139 persons in 2018. Around 54 of those executed were convicted for nonviolent drug crimes. Most executions are carried out by beheading, sometimes in public.